Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to do a video on how I take my pictures and how I edit them for Instagram. So if you guys want to see how I achieve it, just keep on watching. First things first, what I use. I have used a lot of things throughout the time I've been taking pictures, but what I've been using lately and what I've been loving lately is just my iPhone. So I have an iPhone 7 Plus and I just use the back camera for it. I don't use the front. And I know, I I used to watch videos when people were like, what, you use the back camera? Like, how do you see? I would struggle so much, but I've learned tips and tricks on how to do it. I used to use the Canon 60D to take pictures, and I would love that too, but the remote, like the remote control died, and I stopped using it. I switched over to my phone and it works so well just use what you guys have available you don't need to go buy an expensive camera just to take pictures like trust me use your phone the most important thing when taking pictures of anything anything at all is lighting it sets the mood it shows details you have if you could have one thing and one thing only it has to be lighting so personally, I use my vanity mirror or I use a ring light. I would recommend you guys personally to use daylight. Go ahead and stand in the front of a big window. Just since I don't have that personally, like I don't have a big window to stand at, I use artificial lighting. And the way I use it is all the way and just I sit in front of it. You kind of see your reflection in the mirror or if not, I have a separate mirror on its own. I have this one and this one's from Impression. Um, I don't feel like you need a, that kind of mirror. You could honestly do a handheld mirror and you'll be fine. But it, the problem is you don't want to be holding it and then taking pictures at the same time. Like it's really hard, it's really tiring. So just make sure you have a mirror that stands up let's just get started and let me show you guys how i take my pictures and honestly all i do is just hold it right in front of me you always want to make sure your camera is clean there is times where i've seen people take pictures and it's the camera is just so dirty like you can see that it's like all fussy and i'm like why don't you just clean it it all it needs it's a wipe i usually just take my shirt and wipe it off i just kind of hold it in front of me as you guys could tell okay i kind of could tell through the little mirror that i have what i'm taking pictures of so And you kind of just work around it and see what you like and what you don't like. Like, can you see that? I mean, honestly, don't don't hold the phone directly over the light. You kind of want to angle it a little, just because if you put it directly on, you're casting a shadow from the light to your phone. To your face so you're gonna get like a weird shadow so just tend to make sure that you like angle it sideways i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i take a picture with my with my vanity as well just so you guys can see what 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 i do kind of thing like for everyday pictures because i mean i only put my ring light when i'm filming so hold on but if you guys can see, you guys might recognize the background from my, all my pictures. And all I just do is sit in front of it and hold my phone up. And kind of see myself through the background. And see. And that kind of gives you such a really nice picture. Hold on. This really is the, the way I take my pictures. And it's comes out really really nice it shows all the makeup details when I do my eye close-ups I tend to zoom in at 2% and I kind of avoid going directly like this because the mirror will create a cast as well I kind of lift up the phone and do it like sideways and kind of just same thing look through the mirror and just take the pictures 
with it this way I just feel like I don't get as much as much shadow on my face and I get the details of the eyes as look as you guys could see but I just zoom in make sure to zoom in so when it's up there so you have to like you don't have to be up like this with your phone just go and then take pictures so you guys I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I edit so welcome to my screen this is what my phone looks like I have different folders for everything and this is the folder that contains all the app editing softwares that I use so I'm all I'm gonna do is go ahead and go through the pictures themselves and see which ones I like and this is how this looks you guys can see the details and everything like this was in front of the vanity itself and then I went ahead and I liked some of the pictures already this is in front of the ring light and I mean I took a whole bunch of pictures I mean obviously I need to I usually do tend to take a whole bunch of pictures it usually takes me like an hour to go ahead and do all the like take all the pictures that I need so I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the favorite one I just go ahead and like tap the ones I like the most and then let's say I've already went ahead and I picked everything that I like I step into Facetune 2 and I really really love the, the app I have purchased everything that there needs to be and right here when I go down all my favorites show up I have different folders for everything but I just go to favorites because I've already went ahead and picked out my favorites and let's go ahead with this one I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys so all I do is go into the retouch button and I smooth out just a little bit like right here where I have the larger pores and then I usually take it down a lot I don't usually use a lot of the softening I just just a little does the trick I usually tend to go in with the details and detail everything to like all my eyes so you can see the lashes a lot better and like my eyebrows so you can see the detail as well I go in with the glow button and I tend to put it on my chin on the cupid bow and on the nose a little bit on my eyes and you kind of want to use a tapping motion so you guys could see the difference and this button right here it tells you how the before and after and I don't do a lot to it and I actually I go into this one and I kind of just color up the the eyes just so it looks a little bit more because sometimes the lighting tends to dull out the makeup so just make sure you brighten it and you always want to make sure you like do the before and after so you don't do too much if your picture looks like a whole other picture, you're doing it wrong. And then I go with the adjustments and I kind of just mess with this a little to see. Because sometimes it's a little dark. And I always hire the contrast a little. Just so it gives it a little extra pop. And the temperature I usually mess with if my picture looks a little like blue or too warm. So, and it, all I do is save to the camera roll. There is also that Visco um, app, but I tend to not use it as often. And if we import, I kind of just don't use a lot of it. I tend to use the basic one I loved. I did buy it a long time ago, so I have everything. But if I ever do a preset on it I use this one the A5 and always lower the opacity always I like the way it makes it look on some pictures 
so make sure to publish and save to camera roll always save the actual size and then after all that I just go into afterlight and this is just for borders because I want that cropped picture I want the whole picture to fit on Instagram without having the thing so just go ahead and select it and then right here on the corner this is the borders and I just go to this one and I mean you could switch it up so just go ahead and switch it however you want I usually just tend to do that and there's times where I switch how the picture looks just to see how that would look if it looks a little better mm. or I think I like it standing up so I'm just gonna go ahead and save it to the camera roll I always make sure it's always in max because you want it to be the highest resolution and after that all I do is just go to Instagram and honestly add the picture and I just select it I don't do any editing in Instagram itself because everything's already done I always have my hashtag saved like ready to paste and I'll just I'll just do whatever caption I want and share this is pretty much how I edit my whole video well how I edit my pictures and everything there's nothing special to it there's nothing like dramatic I mean I've seen I seen people that do the most to their pictures they change the lighting they change a whole bunch of things I don't do that it's just too much work for me there's times I don't have enough enough time to edit them there's times I don't even do anything at all I just post them as it is and honestly I don't feel like you should edit your pictures as much like it should be true to what you took mostly if it's pictures of makeup this is it I mean even with the ID the eye close-ups I just kind of do the same thing edit a little bit of color just because the light washes it off something but even at that I don't leave it a high opacity you always bring it down you don't want it to be, to be too obvious and I hope you guys learned something from what I use or what I do but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my, vid my video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you guys so much.